in a world where you need opportunities, and opportunities doesn't always knock, but there was a time where it gets high stakes, and that time is money in the bank. It's a ladder match where people who buy to get into the money in the bank, they qualified. And that was their chance to prove themselves. Both the men and the women from both Raw and SmackDown compete for a contract in the briefcase. Not just any contract. No, 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 no. It is a contract for a chance at greatness. It is a contract to possibly become the women's champion of SmackDown and Raw or in the men, the, 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 the championship and the world championship. Who would it be? And this is a special money in the bank because there was a war between the bloodline who emerged and got the first shot. In this, in this money. War. All right. And the bank. bank. With your with your yeah. next president and lovable widower and the sheriff of Big E country. I fought the law and the right. law for yeah. I fought the law and the yeah. law for the law. All right, here we go. Let's kick things off with the men's money in the bank ladder match. We have Shinsuke Nakamura, Santos Escobar, and Ricochet from Monday Night Raw with, um, oh my, no, 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 sorry, Damian Priest, Butch, and L.A. Knight, Ricochet, Santos Escobar, and Shinsuke Nakamura. It was special guest Logan Paul in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. And the winner for that one was Damian Priest. Holy moly. I didn't see that coming. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say Damian Priest? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, I saw, I mean, I didn't see it coming. Wow. Okay, so who did you originally pick to be? I mean, to pick to win the uh, Money in the Bank for the men's division. L A Knight. Yeah. Yeah, I actually had a double. I had uh, okay. Who who else? Was, I had L A Knight, which is one, and then who was this? Was it in uh, Raw again? Um. Shinsuke Nakamura. And Rick yeah, Shea. I had I had L L A Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. You know, everybody loved the music to that one, but also people loved the music to uh 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 oh, Long Shot. Not well. Yeah, L A Knight. It's the heat, ladies and gentlemen. I had a heat stroke, but anyway. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, oh, it's not as bad as. There. But anyway, continue. Yeah, yeah. So I had a double down, and I didn't know David. I didn't know that David Priest was gonna uh, grab the big case. So now he's got a contract. Yeah, and um, since and of course, um, later on that night, um, we could see a potential um Judgment Day breakup. Yeah, I mean. I mean, this storyline is just phenomenal. I mean, it's just too phenomenal. From we went from the the whole beginning of the bloodline to the island of relevancy, relevancy uh, to uh, the betrayal. I mean, this is stuff that movies are made of. My God. Yeah. Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez defeated Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler turned on Ronda Rousey. I didn't see that. Oh wait, so. Okay, so Shay. Okay, so who who, who was Shay the uh, Baszler? Was she a heel or a face? They were both heels, but then she turned her back on her best friend Ronda Rousey during the uh, match. Uh, oh, yikes! As you know, they don't always turn out well. Cut Gunther defeated Matt Riddle by submission. Oh. You know, I thought, yeah, I thought I thought that uh Okay, let me let me let me back up. Uh who who won it against uh Ronda Rodney and Shayna Baszler again? Liv Morgan Raquel Rodriguez. 
Yeah, I thought that Liz Morgan was going to win, and then I also thought that uh, I also thought that uh, okay, the next match that you just said. Um, Gunther defeated Matt Riddle, but but guess who came out after that match was over? Drew McIntyre. Oh wow! I always thought that Matt Riddle was going to win that match. Yeah. What about Rose you? Defeated, you know, I think yeah, I think um, I think Gunther was going to do it. Oh okay. Now we got Cody Rhodes defeated Dominic Mysterio with Rhea Ripley. Good. Yeah. Uh, 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 Cody Rhodes uh, needed to teach uh, Dominic uh, a lesson. He keep he keeps uh, saying that that uh, Ray Mysterio is a bad father, and that made me mad. I hated that. That uh, truly makes, made me mad. Makes for good TV, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get the, I get the point, but still, even though somebody that's not a father or you know stuff like that, it still makes you mad. Yep. Oh, wait. You got the father. Oh, my goodness. Eo Scott with the new Mrs. Money in the Bank defeated Bailey, Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus with Zelina Vega, and Zoe Stark. Wait a minute. Who, who's the new Miss Money in the Bank? Eo Sky. Oh, that was done on the spec. And who was on the other, who was on the other princesses? Bailey. Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus, Zelina Vega, and Zoe Stark. I thought uh, I had a triple down. I had uh, Zelina, I had Becky Lynch, and I had Bailey. Yeah, I am. I was going for Bailey, Zelina Vega, um, Trish Stratus, and Becky Lynch. I mean, I gotta say, they're not giving Selena a break. I mean, she lost one title opportunity. Now she lost another opportunity. Always, she lost her father. I think she uh, uh, the, the dedicated one match at the last pay per view to her father, and she didn't win. She didn't yeah. win. That's ridiculous. But it's making, but it makes for good TV, though. Yeah, I felt, I kind of felt bad for Selena. Yep. So bad That's for her. Awesome. Seth Rollins is still the world champ. Defeated Finn oh. Balor by Penn. And in the main event, Jimmy and Jay the Usos defeated Roman Reigns with Solo Sokoa. There you go. Now, first of all, I, I thought that Finn well, I don't know who the audience was behind, but I did a double down between uh, Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. And then... I, I knew the Uso was going to, to uh, have the first blow, the first shot. First long shot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that new Orlando, long shot. Uh, you got to fire the first long shot. <laughs> first long shot. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. Who did you buy to both of those matches anyway? Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. That's okay. Anyway, where did it, I know there was three different main events. Uh, uh, yeah, there was three different main events in that in that car. So, yeah, yeah, hey, I forgot. You know, <laughs> we all forget what we're going to say sometimes, brother. Yeah. So, uh, was there any other matches? That was only one for the night. Oh wow, that was a short card. So they must have gave some more time to the uh, to the matches, especially both of the ladder matches, which, by the way, came from London, England, and the time uh, the time difference was very uh, very different because you're, you're talking about a different country. So we was going to do the show the same day, but the time uh, difference got us. I kind of like when pay per view was that night for by me. So like that case were late or missed a day or something like that. Because yeah, like I said before, it's night time over there, it's daytime over here. Yeah, exactly. Because I had the the world. yeah, I had to struggle for eighteen days, eighteen days, and when and when they found out it wasn't his, well, I missed that joke up, but but uh. 
Yeah, so uh, uh it was brutal. I had I had a couple I had a couple of heat strokes and uh kept passing out. It's just it's just brutal, man. It's just absolutely brutal. So I thought we was gonna do it the day of, but then like I said, time got us, but Yeah. And so well, we're gonna have to play this fire the next one um pay per view fire and what is the next pay per view, Cheryl? Hang on, let me check. Okay. Let me check the next pay per view on the schedule. August right. 6th. Slam. Oh, SummerSlam. I I I remember I had some fondest memories of matches during SummerSlam. Oh my god. Wow. We're gonna have to talk about that when when it comes up. So uh yeah, so SummerSlam should the one on July thirtieth, the Great American Bash. Oh wow. It's um that's NXT. Yeah, NXT uh NXT have brought that one and uh do they do in your house or they don't do that? The NXT. They still do that one, but they still do that one but from time to time though. But I remember the great American Bash. Oh wow. That's like yeah, the last that's... from the And I know they do war games too, NXT. All brawls. Yep. Wow. That give me gray hairs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sheriff, uh, do you know there's an election coming up in 2024? Yes, sir. And uh, guess who's happened to be running for president? A lot of people are. Yeah. But uh, one of them that is running is yours truly. Now, I'm looking for a party because I can't stand Democrats. I can't stand Republicans. They're both scary in a way, even though I would have to work with them if I do become president. But uh, I will be uh, having a first speech on it sometime this week. Well, the weather is still somewhat normal. <laughs> when it's all try to kill me. Uh, huh. So uh, the name of the movement that I have is called Never be forgotten again because I'm tired of people who are disabled, people who are poor, people who are veterans and seniors so always being forgotten, always being left out when we need help. Always. Always. And I'm not right. The billionaires and the, and the business people and corporate always get help. But when the American people need help, nope, sorry. Or sorry, we helped you out so late. Or you're only going to get three stimulus check and not a fourth one. Sorry. But you uh, never know, buddy. Exactly. No, no, but man. anyway, any last last words of wisdom that you have, Sheriff Foss? Not today. Oh. Well, that's I'm a shot. Same by saying you never give up unless you unless you have good. Unless you, let's say you never ever give up, and you'll always gotta keep moving forward. That's right. Oh, speaking of never give up, didn't John Cena return to WWE? And holy moly! Yeah, he was there on Money in the Bank. Oh, yeah, and I thought I was like, that's what's up. Yeah. I would like, but to ladies see and gentlemen, I would love to see WrestleMania in the case. Yeah. Or, anyway, or, or in Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Or that? Oi, oi, oi. Or, in, or, in, or, in, or in WrestleMania. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Ah. <laughs> and we have someone, we have someone in Australia from our, from, our, from our game night group who we have a big shout out for you. Oh, go ahead and mention him. Arla. We know you're out there listening. Big shout out to you. That's right. Now she does listen to the YouTube channel, so uh, I got to pay. So if you're not part of a citizen of Big D country, smash, destroy the like button, put a one, two, three on the like button, and, and like the, uh, yeah, the like button. And then also subscribe, become a citizen, and move into your mansion today. You'll be glad you did because podcast movement is coming up and coverage will begin 
on August 20th. Yep. And don't forget the STL Ocarina podcast every Thursday, 6 Eastern, 5 Central on Facebook. Then after that, the YouTube channel will be up and be uploading a new episode. That's right. So, and don't forget, live coverage from Anime Matsuri will be happening on on sa- on Saturday and Sunday. Will be happening on Saturday and Sunday this year. Oh, na- oh, nice. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Yep. On Saturday, August twelfth and August thirteenth. Ah. Oh! Right, almost a week, <laughs> almost a week before I go to podcast move in. <laughs> and, and also stay tuned that weekend for a blog on Facebook on the YouTube side. There you go. For a, for the week amazing. for the week for the for the recap for the day re, for the recap. Oh wow! And holy moly! <laughs> and that's the thing you can't get anywhere else. Yep. Man. Anyway, thank you, thank you everyone so much for listening in. Oh, by the way, I gotta give a warning before we go. If if you are a uh, a male and a fan of some of these female wrestlers on Facebook, sometimes even Twitter, look out because they're they're trying to scam you and try to think, make you think they're but they're such stars like. Uh, uh, I always get a lot of Charlotte Flair. Like, for some reason, Charlotte Flair loves me or some, some kind of way. I'm always getting Charlotte Flair and a couple of times Liz Morgan, but they're fake. They're not the real deal. But, uh, Make sure, why make sure there's a check mark next to them. For that? Make sure there's a check mark next to them. Exactly. Exactly. Good. That's why you're the sheriff. That is why, because you, you protect and serve. And also common sense as well. Exactly. So, uh, yeah. For some reason, I always be getting a lot of Charlotte Flair. So, like, does Charlotte Flair like me or something like that? I'm like, come on. No, 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 no. I know. I know. I get it. But I know, I know it's a scam. And don't ever send money to, to female or, or guy, uh, you know, if you're if you're a lady uh, looking for only a lady looking for a guy, we don't do it the other way around here. But if you're a lady looking for a guy and they ask you for money right off the bat, block and drop, block and drop. Oh goodness! Oh, yeah. What the heck, though? <laughs> All right, sure has been a pleasure, and I can't wait to do uh. I can't wait to do the next pay-per-view with you because it's always been such a fun blast. Yes, sir. So, all right. So, uh, we're going to close it out. And uh, so, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna let the, you know what? I'm going to let the, the sheriff close us out in the way that he knows best. Like, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time edition. Right here next time. Once again, on the Big D Zone Podcast. Take care, everyone.